Hey everybody, I think this might be one of the fashion showcase videos that I've looked forward the most to doing. You've probably heard me talk about the website Devil Night before and you've definitely heard me talking about Punk Rave because I think Punk Rave has to be my favourite fashion brand for like the last decade at least. They just consistently bring out things that just seem like they were made for me, I don't know. I just think their designers have such good taste and they just keep consistently bringing out such beautiful things. And like I've said many times, they're always more beautiful in person, so ordering something from Punk Rave is always like a little bit better than what you think it's going to be. And I was genuinely very excited when a few weeks ago I saw the new autumn collection come out from Punk Rave. Devil Night, has everything. I'm pretty sure they have all the new things from Punk Graves Autumn Collection. So today I've got five things to show you from the new collection. I hope you like them. A couple of things are more casual, everyday things. A couple of things are definitely a little bit more posh. That's what I like about Punk Graves. They do have like everyday kind of stylish stuff, but they also have the most exquisite, ridiculous, fancy, like Victorian, Baroque stuff. I love it. I'm really distracted by like the lighting. I'm not sure how good it is because this, you can't see, but this room is completely painted black and all the furniture is black except for this cabinet. I'm feeling a bit weird about the lighting. What do you think? Is it okay? I don't know. Anyway, getting on with it. The first thing I would like to show you is this thing that I'm wearing now, this dress. I tried it on before, but this is the first time that I've properly worn it and I'm like, I really like it. It's cool. I think I'm gonna wear this quite a bit. I'll show it to you properly in a second. I feel like I could wear this like to go to parties because it's so easily dressed up, but also I would wear this just for like going to town. It's an easy thing. It's really cool and I love this fabric. I really like this destroyed sort of fabric. This unusual dress is of a destroyed semi-transparent floral lace. Several panels make up the skirt and corset together at the top. It's difficult to know which is the front or the back. Guess it doesn't matter. The cuffs are flared asymmetrical elastic. Looks good with a plain maxi skirt or dress underneath and a belt and a few long chains. My only complaint is that the neck is quite tight and will destroy a hairstyle in order to get it over your head. Next thing I want to show you is something you may have already seen me wearing because I have worn it a couple of times is this velvet top. Uh, maybe you know I love velvet. It's my favorite fabric. This is especially pretty. I like velvet because it tends to be blacker <laughs> than other fabrics. This is a fitting velvet top with a lovely shaped neckline and beautiful applique insert. The sleeves are extra long and culminate in a fancy flower detail and little loops for the fingers. I like how it's fitting but not tight and could be part of a simple outfit or a very fancy one. I really like this top. It's so elegant. I, f I can see myself wearing it quite a lot. My only complaint with this would be that that my hair sticks to it. Is that weird? I guess just because of the, the friction of the fabric. That doesn't seem to happen with my other velvet things, but for some reason with this it does. My hair is like always sticking to it, which is a bit of a nuisance. As usual, I am saving my favorite things for last. This next thing is a kind of cross between a coat and a dress. It's a, it's a dress really, but it sort of looks like a coat. It's quite serious looking. <laughs> Unfortunately, this doesn't really fit me all that well across the chest, like most things don't. It's also, it's quite heavy. It's got quite a lot of weight to it. Well, this doesn't fit me properly, so it's a bit hard to show off, but this dress is of a coarse fabric and does up with three brass domes, a string at the waist, and hooks up at the neck. The neck is too tight, so I'm leaving it undone. It has pockets and a zigzag shaped hem. My only complaint with this would be that even though it's lined on the inside, you can still like feel the coarseness of the fabric, so it's kind of a bit itchy and scratchy, which basically means you just have to wear something underneath so you don't feel that. Second to last thing is very, very cool. It really caught my eye. When I say cool, I mean warm. I'm looking forward to some lovely snowy days so I can wear it. It is this amazing, impressive, cloak. I don't know how well you can see but the detail on the back like across the shoulders is so beautiful. It's really big and bulky but it's so warm and I feel like I'm going to be really thankful for it come the middle of winter. The hood is lined with this fleece and it's, it's so soft and lovely. This beautiful trim continues down the front. It's just so pretty. This big heavy winter cloak is like a blanket you can wear. It does up with a clasp at the throat plus two pom-poms on velvet strings. There are holes for your arms and a fur trimmed hood which is lined with a thick fleece. The shoulders feature incredible lace detail which continues right down the front. And I'm sure that I'll be very thankful for this in the middle of winter when it's freezing bloody cold. I just remember when I first came to Germany and then winter came and I had no warm clothes because I was living out of a bag and if I think back then to how much I just froze for several months, I think if I'd had something like this then I would have been extremely grateful for it. Last thing I have to show you is so beautiful. When I saw the new collection come out, this is the thing that caught my attention the most. Um, a bit surprising, it's actually got a bit of colour. 
in it. I'm not sure if you would really classify it as a top or a blazer. It's kind of a bit of both, but it is this incredibly beautiful Victorian style black with red wine velvet blazer top thing. This Victorian style blazer is of a thick velvet and has beautiful detailing over the chest. It's lined in red, has flared sleeves, and the back is shaped and split so it would sit perfectly over a skirt with a crinoline. Just extremely elegant and sophisticated and old fashioned. I love Victorian fashion. I like to try and weave a bit of Victorian fashion into my everyday look when possible. My only complaint with this would be that the buttons are these little metal flowers and they're quite pointy on the edges. So when you're putting this on and taking it off, it hurts the fingers a little bit because they're a little bit sharp. Otherwise, I think this is a very elegant thing that I'm looking forward to having the occasion to wear. So which was your favorite thing? I, like I said, pretty sure the blazer thing is my favorite, but I don't know. I also think I'll wear the velvet top the most and I kind of really like this now. I will, of course, as always, link below to Devil Knight to specifically each of those items so you can go have a wee look for yourself if you like. Why don't you let us know in the comments what your plans for Halloween are because maybe I can live through you because just like last year, I've made no plans. I don't know what to do. I know it's just been the weekend when everyone goes out partying and stuff, but I didn't do anything. There was nothing to go to. Just stayed at home and did work because I'm cool like that. Yeah, why don't you tell us what you're doing for Halloween or what you just did this weekend and I can live vicariously through you. If you have not already done so, please click the button below to subscribe to my wonderful spooky channel. Thank you very much for watching and as always, take care of yourselves, be nice to each other, happy Halloween, and I will see you next time. Bye. <sighs>